Welcome to Monday, October the 5th. I'm Pastor Jim Krieger from Holy Cross Lutheran Church and School in Saginaw, Michigan, celebrating God's Holy Word with you today in our daily devotion. Our continued study of Colossians 3, today we focus on the words of verse 14. And above all these, put on love which binds everything together in perfect harmony. What an amazing privilege it is to be a new creation in Jesus Christ. We are forgiven of all our sins through faith in the shed blood of Jesus on the cross. We live each day in the promise of our own physical resurrection from the dead through faith in the physical resurrection of Jesus from the grave. Through our baptism, we are recreated into children of God who live our new spiritual life while on earth until we attain to that promised eternal life in the mansions of heaven. So far in Colossians chapter 3, the Apostle Paul has provided instruction on how to live our new life in Christ, how to put off the ungodly ways of living, how to put on characteristics that show the spiritual fruits of a child of God who desires to live in spirit and truth. Although we are called to have compassionate hearts and put on the qualities of kindness, humility, meekness, and patience, it is the supreme quality of agape love that should fill and rule our heart and mind and life that godly form of love above all others that brings about perfect harmony. The message of the New Testament about the nature and the results of agape love is consistent. It is this agape godly love that binds all other godly qualities together. This agape love is the preeminent fruit of the Holy Spirit from which all other Christian and godly virtues flow. The Apostle Paul describes this godly form of love in the words of 1 Corinthians 13, verses 7 and 8. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never fails. This ideal form of godly love for others, agape love, is not the often spoken sentiment stirred from deep affection for one another. True love, godly love, agape love is firmly secured to a committed affection and respect for all people. Agape love is the very character and work of God in us that leads us to a wholehearted and absolute desire for the well-being of others, marked by sacrifice and action that demonstrates absolute selflessness. The biblical teaching of agape love that fills our heart and mind in life places absolute reverence and trust in God alone and seeks to give him the honor and respect that is due his name each and every day. This unconditional love of God for every sinner is evident so much more in the life and love of a spiritual child of God as his love for us flows out from us to others, a love that seeks to create a bond of unity and ultimately peace. Agape love cannot be taught and it cannot be acquired through study. It cannot be worked up in our emotions and it is not rooted in romantic feelings. Agape love flows into our very being from our Father, the God of love himself. And that same love pours out freely and without condition from us into the lives of others. It is always an other-focused, sacrificial love that gives even more honor and glory to our God and Father and expresses in word and deed our unending thankfulness for his gift of ultimate love, Jesus Christ, our Lord and personal Savior from sin. 
let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for your love for all sinners, your love that sent Jesus to be the all-atoning sacrifice for my sins and the sins of all people. While I do not deserve and I cannot ever earn your love for me, you love me in spite of my sins and my selfishness. It is my fervent and daily prayer that in all things I may put on the qualities of godly love and that I can be a channel of your love and compassion flowing out from me to all others around me. A love marked by sacrifice that binds everything together in perfect harmony. It is in the precious, loving name of Jesus, your gift of love for all sinners, that I now offer the prayer you taught your children to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with favor, and in the name of Jesus, give you peace.